What is up, people? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be diving into the world of game development. And for that, you need a good machine to work on your project. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about what PC specs you need for game development to bring visions to life. Whether you're just starting off or you're a medium level or you want to really get more complex projects in today's video, I have got covered. All right. So first of all, this video is going to be divided in three parts. The entry level is going to have a budget around 50 to 70,000 rupees and there's going to be mid-range with a budget from 70,000 1 lakh piece and then high end with your budget from 1 1.5 lakh or beyond so let's do this all right so these are going to be the minimum requirements but you can actually go and modify the as per your requirements as you go by and if you're wondering whether you should buy a laptop or a desktop it always depends on your usability and purpose so I'll be linking down a guide for that in the description also I can't tell you which brand is best and which is not but i can tell you which is good at what and i can provide you some options so please do your research and make sure check compatibility before you buy something so let's go all right, for those of you who are budding D developers or who are just about starting and getting into 2D games, just learning the ropes, this is where most of the people are who don't want to spend too much money on their PC and don't want to really break their pockets. So here's what I recommend for an entry-level setup. For the processor, aim for a quad core like an Intel Core i5 or AMD Ryzen 5. Your minimum core count should at least be four cores and four threads, but try to squeeze out more more if you can fit it in your budget. Six core CPU will be good while both brands have some trade-offs where AMD offers good multi-core performance and Intel's offers best single core performance. Now let's come to the graphics card. This is the most crucial part. Now most of the game development software needs a good GPU. So for that we would recommend NVIDIA GTX 1650 or an AMD Radeon RX 570 if you are on a very tight budget. But in my opinion, these GPUs are getting outdated where 1650 was launched in 2019 and RX 570 was launched 2017, which was six years ago. So I would recommend going for an RTX 20 series or an RTX 3050, which are the latest and good at entry level and provide the best price to performance. Next up, memory. For the RAM, 8 GB is your baseline. But if you can, 16 G is even better. Next up, storage for the storage pair a 256 gb ssd with a 1 tb hdd for a good mix of speed and space display 1920 by 1080 will serve you very well that's absolutely fine all right now if you're stepping up into the game and diving into small to medium 3d projects or even vr then you'll want a bit more punch here's my mid-range recommendation for processor you should look for a minimum of six core cpus and an 8 core CPU will do the job for you. Models like the Intel Core i7 or AMD Ryzen 7 are solid choices, providing good price to performance ratio. Now, for the graphics card, for this range, India provides multiple options such as the RTX 2070 or RTX 3060 or even the latest RTX 4050 or 4060. You can choose depending on your budget or an AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT should keep things smooth. Now, when it comes to memory in this range, obvious you should go for the 16 GB kit or even 32 GB if you can afford it. Next, storage. For storage, 512 GB SSD paired with 2 DB HDD or 1 TB SSD and 512 GB HDD is a good combination and should give you plenty of space. Display, once again, 1920 uh, by 1080 is good for, for this range, but try and consider 1440p if you are going for higher quality games. And finally, for the ambitious pros out there, if you're aiming to develop AAA quality titles, advanced VR experiences, or those deep into 3D modeling, if you want to be running Unity, and if you want to be running 3D software and Photoshop and all these together, then this is the high-end setup to get your projects running flawlessly. For the big brain, go for 16 or more cores count. Now in this range, the Intel Core i9 13th gen offers 24 cores and 32 threads and AMD Ryzen 9 offers 16 cores and 32 threads. Both CPUs pushing the technology and 
these should be your best bets for graphics for gpus nvidia rtx 3070 3080 3090 or the new rtx 4070 4080 or 4090 are the best for your rig or the amd radeon rx 6800 xt or 6900 xt and amd radeon rx 7800 xt and 7900 xt will give you the graphical prowess that you need for memory think of at least 32 GB or even more. When it comes to storage, a spacious 1 TB NVMe SSD coupled with a 4 TB HDD or 2 TB SSD and 2 TB HDD will ensure you never run out of room. You can go all out on storage as much as you need. And for display, you must go to a 2K or 4K resolution for those really crisp visuals and to fully utilize your GPU performance. And if you can, grab a high refresh rate monitor. Now, remember, while these are solid guidelines, always do your research and keep things in mind for future proofing, ensuring you are not going to upgrade immediately as tech evolves. If this video was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or your recommendations, drop them in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe for more tech and game development tips. And if you're interested in game development, game design, game art programming, if you want to learn from industry pros, want to do a diploma, government recognized diploma, game development, definitely check out gamertomaker.in. All the links are in the comments of this video. See you in the next video. Let's go.